This is the Proxmox Virtualization Environment 8.4.1 Web UI. And this allows me to perform basic functions like uploading ISOs and creating virtual machines. Here inside my data center, you can see um, the summary of my uh, host. And if I do a drop down, you can see all the servers that I have created. I have server one, server two, and Neo, which helped me to study for a Red Hat certified system administrator exam. And then I have my Kali Linux server, um, Garfield, and Scooby, which is a Fedora 42. And if I want to create a new virtual machine, I'll simply click here on virtual machine, type in the name. Then I'll specify the ISO image that I'm using. I usually choose the defaults for the system configuration. And then for disk, this is going to be a media server. So I'm going to make it uh, 150 gigs. And then for the CPU, I'm going to do one socket. So one physical CPU um, and two cores. That can always be modified later. And I'm going to do six gigabytes of memory. So that's going to be 61. Then the network, I'm going to choose Intel E1000E. And it'll allow me to view um, my configuration. And since I'm happy with what I see, I'll go ahead and finish. And that creates a new virtual machine. And this virtual machine, if I go to console, I can go ahead and start it. And it'll begin the installation of Ubuntu Server. Thanks for watching. This has been the Tech Curator at the Knowledge Seat. Please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.